Hey everyone, I wanted to show you a programming application called NetBeans, which specializes in the Java coding language along with a lot of features to fully develop and style a functioning program. NetBeans is an integrated development environment also known as an IDE and could be downloaded on many operating systems which I'll be showing with the Mac computer system today. Really simple, you want to type in NetBeans on the search bar and find its official website that ends in .org. After we reach the home page, we want to find anything where there are hints for download or installation links. Luckily, I like their site personally because they get straight to the point with what they offer, like cross-platform. You want to click on a keyword installed and there will be a new page to choose a preferred version. NetBeans comes out with multiple versions a year, but users could have the liberty to experience the older versions if wanted. Now here you can see all the possible installers. One problem is that they don't really label which link is for which operating system. To be sure, it is good to check the ending of these links because they hint to their proper system. There's Windows, Mac, Debian or Linux, and RPM, which is a package manager system. For our Mac at OS version 13 and from the year 2020, we want to use the .dmg link, which is also for all Macs. You head to another page and all of these links are the same. Just continue with the first one at the top. Now an install is downloading that will take under half a gigabyte. Now, done with the downloading, you may click on the installer and find the file ending in .pkg and open this file to run the installer. Luckily, NetBeans helps with what might be missing so you can know if you can really get it installed before running. Continue with the installation process as shown on your own screen and accept any terms and agreements. So now you can see the amount that the app will take up and where it will install on. It will ask for admin permission and a password. Now an installer is downloading and it will take under one gigabyte. You may delete the installer as well afterwards and it will not affect your NetBeans. Alright, now NetBeans is installed. Head over to your applications and now a hexagon shape with blue, red, and green will appear as the logo of NetBeans. Also nice to know that projects made on older versions or on your drive can be imported to the new versions without much trouble, as now. In the app, you see my previous projects from an older version and being able to copy onto the new version with no errors or no red lines. With your new application, you can also create a new project from scratch. Either at the yellow icon in green plus or way up top under the file tab, you can make a simple Java file with a main method and a print line for hello world able to build and run the file with no problems. NetBeans takes the specialization in Java and helps single out the features that may have been overlooked at and help users apply them all throughout their IDE. NetBeans might have the potential as a top Java environment with the easy access to industry level features for regular users. Not to mention the IDE is free. Thanks for watching the video and let me know how you feel about Java or IDEs in general. See you soon!